Our food shortage has hit the Damangostini High School in the West Gonja municipality of the Savannah region, creating a possibility of the school being shut down and the over 1,800 students, including 673 final year students, asked to go home. The situation on campus is so severe that some final year students had to relocate from their boarding house and be commuting from their homes to school for classes. John is caught up with some of them. Before, no place. The way it used to be, usually now it has changed. Even today, imagine we want to dine in. I don't know. The food they serve was jollof, but say if you look at the food, it's not jollof, it's not play rice. And without food, learning and uh, teaching is very difficult because a student cannot go to the class once he or she is hungry. Because we find it difficult in learning or uh, 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 something like that. What do you mean it's not jollof, it's not rice? But the, why they say it was your love? There's, there's nothing like tomatoes inside. So the, 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 the food, the rice was just looking white. But they said it's your love. It's not your love, it was not play rice. Because we know normally when we go for play rice, there's nothing, like they don't, they just play rice. But today it was not like that. They concluded that it's your love, but it's not your love, sir. Okay, okay. And your bowl, how, how is your bowl? Do you fill your bowl or no place. It's, it's no place. Have... Even the spoon that they used to serve us say it's not even full. Just something small, they just give it to us. We are also told that it's first can first serve. If you don't go early, you won't get. But yes, I know, sir. But usually the way when the food is there, the way we normally eat and we all you know, now it's not like that. Some table didn't get to food today. So those people like this, imagine how would they go and eat if they are not having money or something in their troubles, like Gary. And I think those who are from here, they do go home and eat and come, right? Eh? Yeah, some people do go home and eat and come. I just met some outside. Yeah, even my uncle is at town. So normally I do go to him and collect food and then come due to the shortage of food in this camp. There is no food. So they'll be giving us um, rice water in the morning, afternoon will be jollof, and then evening will be rice balls each day. So they bring food. So that is what is just going on. And this morning, we are doing before dining, but this afternoon was jollof, and we are now waiting to go for evening dining. So we are going to uh, see whether it's going to be the same situation. I learned that you are 20 pay table. Yes, please. So uh, how is this situation affecting the studies? Well, you know, sometimes if if you are hungry, <laughs> I'll just say if if studies if before you can learn, you need some energy to learn. So when you don't get the amount of food needed for you to learn it to be very difficult for you to concentrate on you because as you are trying to learn your stomach will not give you chance so you sometimes you have to get something small for your stomach so that you can concentrate on it so let's explore this further uh, let's go to the phone lines now and speak to emmanuel arthur who is a senior manager corporate affairs national buffer stock company many thanks sir, for your time here on join news prime this is not the first time we are receiving reports of uh, shortages in schools or even a delay by your outfit to provide schools with food staff. What is accounting for this case? Let's start specifically with the Damango Senior High School. So, um, we, so thank you very much. Good evening. Um, we just asked, uh, I explained on, on your radio station a while ago. Um, we, and, and let me begin by indicating that immediately uh, after uh, getting off the line on that interview, um, I got a call from the headmaster uh, that food uh, had arrived. Because I indicated in that interview that we had dispatched uh, food in the morning that was on its way, and it should get there this evening or tomorrow morning mm. but fortunately i think it arrived uh, this evening very so well that's that's the update so um but um we we had um you know we've been doing this for years and it is it is not common to come by situations like this of course it is not our intention to 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 start any any chart just as one of the students indicated their duty is to is only one to learn, wake up, eat, and learn. And our duty is to make sure that we get them food to eat, so that they can learn. 
they, these students don't really care how the, the food comes about. Or Absolutely. That, that is your responsibility, Ms. Latha. So if you could just go, cut to the chase and tell us why there have been these shortages, we'd appreciate it. So, the, the, well, you know, we work with, uh, with, 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 with human beings. We work with logistics. Sometimes there are some difficulties that we face. Uh, for instance, it's been raining in some parts of that, uh, that region, just as it's been raining in some parts of Accra here. And so sometimes it affects uh, movement, transportation here and there. So um, sometimes the way you have done, the, you have mapped the, the distribution, that you're going to start from this side of the, of the region and get here so that, you know, and, and then sometimes there's some delay here and there. But um, we, are, we it, once it got into our attention, we're here we are, we have been able to, to find solutions to it. Mm. We are, it's also important to indicate that we are looking out for um, uh, any other uh, uh, isolation cases like this uh, in, in that region and any other part of the country because it, it, that is, it, it should not happen that the students should be staffed um, uh, while studying uh, on campus. And that leads me to the question of what sort of monitoring systems you have to be able to identify such issues. We, 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 we have a system in place. Uh, for instance, in, in terms of transporting these food from one, let's say from the warehouse to the schools or from one point to another, we, we sometimes there's breakdown, for instance, of mm. of, of of the track. We once we get uh, the the information on time, we are able to put make a, put in arrangement for an alternative to go cut the the the, the goods to to the school. Mm. Sometimes we don't get the information on time, so it it it, 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 it this is what. Um, account for some of the, the difficulties. Okay, and Mr. Atta, you can assure us that uh, once you have begun checking for some of these issues in other schools, we will not uh, witness such a situation where students would have to go home because of food shortage. You, you can have the, the best of my assurance. We are grateful for your time. That's Emmanuel Atta, a senior manager, Corporate Affairs, National Buffer Stock. Let's bring you some other stories here on Joy News Prime. <laughs>